most impressive script included with SoundForge is the Batch Converter script. The Batch Converter script enables you to specify multiple files to which you want to add the same processes and effects, and then specify multiple file formats and templates to which you want to save those files. This tool can save you hours of repetitive work, and it's easy to use. First, close all open data windows and the script editor. Choose Tools, Batch Converter. On the Files to Convert tab, click the Add File button. Navigate to the Class Number 5 folder from the Content Disk and open the file liveit.wav. This adds the file to the batch list. You can also add an entire folder to the batch. Click the Add Folder button. Navigate to the Batch Files folder inside the Class 5 folder and click OK. The batch list shows that it includes all media files from the specified folder location. Now that you have your list of files ready, click the Process tab. The Select drop-down lists all of the processes and effects available for processing the batch of files. These are the same processes and effects that you can access through the menu options and the plug-in chainer that we talked about in previous classes. Let's normalize all of the batch files and convert them to mono files. Choose Channel Converter from the list and click the Add Effect button. In the Channel Converter dialog, select Stereo to Mono 50% No Faders from the preset list and click OK. That process appears in the Process list. Choose Normalize from the Select drop-down and click the Add Effect button. Choose Normalize RMS to minus 16 dB Music from the preset list and click OK. Now you've got two processes in the list and of course you could add more. If you want to change the settings of a process that's already in the list, click the Change Preset button. Use the Move Up and Move Down buttons to rearrange the order of the processes and click the Remove button to delete the selected process from the list. For now, just leave the list as it is. When you're done adding the processes you want to run, click the Metadata tab. Here you can add data that you want to embed into the files. Enter a copyright date into the Copyright field and today's date in the Creation Date field. Select the corresponding Overwrite checkboxes to overwrite any existing metadata with the new data you've entered here. Not all file formats support metadata. If you save to one that doesn't, SoundForge simply ignores this information. Click the Save tab, then the Add Save Options button. Here you can specify exactly how and where you want to save the file. To save the files in the same file format with the same names into the same folders as the files in your batch list, Select all three Same as Source radio buttons. To save to a different file format, select the Convert to radio button. Let's save these as MP3 files. Choose MP3 Audio from the Type drop-down and choose 128 kbps CD quality audio from the Template drop-down. To add something to the file names of the resulting files, select the Append to Name radio button. Type Web into the field. To specify a different save folder, select the Save Files to radio button. Click the Browse button and navigate to the My Documents folder. Click the Make New Folder button and name the new folder MP3 Files. Click OK. Click OK in the Save Options dialog. To change the save options, click the Change Save Options button. Let's also save these files as PCA files. Click the Add Save Options button again. Choose Sony Perfect Clarity Audio for the type and use the default template. Append the file names with Archives and save them to a new PCA Files folder in the My Documents folder. If you think you'll run this exact batch job in the future with other files, click the Save button. Save the file in the My Documents folder and call it mp3 underscore PCA. Click Save. Finally, click the Run Job button. SoundForge and Batch Converter do the rest. The My Document folder now contains the new folders with the batch converted files. To start a new batch, click the New button. To call up the batch you just saved, 
click the open button and navigate to the mp3 underscore PCA file you saved a moment ago in the My Documents folder. Once the saved batch job is open, click the Files to Convert tab, select the files in the list, and click the Remove button. Click the Add File button and build a new batch list. When you're finished with all of your batch processing, click the Close button.